Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the doll room in the new house. It's very echoey in here. We have a new Frankie to look at, so priorities. We have to put Frankie first before actually filling up a doll room so we can film normal content. You know, it's just it's just facts, okay? Okay. Especially when it's the best Frankie that they're ever released so far, in my personal opinion, because I am the Lord of Frankies, as we all know. This Frankie is going to be dropping, if this is Monday when I'm releasing this, she dropped this morning at Amazon exclusively, and she's $50. And honestly, I kind of did not expect this Frankie to come out this year because she's been kind of floating around like as a listing on Amazon since probably early summer. And I remember she was slated to be coming out in July, if I remember correctly. And then all of a sudden, you know, we got leaks last week and now she's here. <laughs> And I was able to pre-order this Frankie early because they popped up on the little Monster High shop and then you had to scroll all the way down and they were there. So I was able to get two. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Frankie looks really good in this doll. It's called Stitch in Style, the little collection. It's probably just gonna be one doll. And the whole premise of this line is to like show you how like fashion is like being constructed. Like if I'm correct, I could be like completely wrong with that. <laughs> Basically the whole construction element, like consider it like a fashion sketch almost, which is really, really cool. I still don't have a new intro. I don't know what happens the old ones but um let's just let's get into the box shall we so this frankie's box is actually quite small i think it's actually really comparable to that gulex ghoulia that came out earlier this year for fan club which by the way what happened to fan club like we've only gotten like one exclusive doll and then like it's been like z lined ever since but pretty much the box is just a nice little rectangular moment and it says stitched in style up there in a foil print with some scissors and some chains there's also some stitch work right here that also looks like little lines that you would see on like fashion garment and even in the back it's it's like draped fabric that looks like her exact dress. And on the actual box, it says Monster High in gray. And the background actually looks kind of like a work desk, which is really, really cool. And on this side, it says Monster High in black in this blue looking fabric. This would actually be really cool as a wallpaper. That would have been cool for this. <laughs> then we get to the back of Frankie's box and it says Stitched in Style Frankie Stein. And then if you want to pause and read the little back, you can. But there's also a nice promo picture of Frankie. See, the stall is an Amazon exclusive, but here is the barcode just in case anyone needs it for any kind of like date. Databasing. But now with that out of the way, I'm gonna free Frankie off camera because I obviously don't have the ability to like do the like opening and stuff like that like I usually do because of no desk and my tripod is literally a trash can right now. We're making it work as you can tell. JK, we're gonna try doing this on the floor and opening her. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna probably try doing this on the floor like this because I just cannot get the balance of Frankie's skin tone to not look super duper duper washed out behind my wall right now. So I'm gonna show you everything that comes with Frankie and then we can move on to the physical doll because I'm so excited to look at every little detail that went into this doll. First things first, she comes with a certificate of authenticity that says Stitch in Style Frankie Stein doll. And it shows a little signature by the designer Annalise Lowe. Very, very cute. And last but not least, she came with a coochie gripper, I mean, saddle stand. They're iffy. This one has a silver skelet base and it just pops in like so. And I'm not sure if this one's gonna break because I've always had issues with these, but it feels like a different plastic than the typical very, very glossy acrylic they use. So I'm gonna see if this works well on Frankie after. And that is all that comes with this Frankie doll. There's no brush and no bag included. It's just the doll and what's on the doll. So I'm very excited to have this doll. Literally, I did not know that this doll was gonna be coming out so soon. Definitely thought this was gonna be maybe a later in the year kind of vibe or even early next year vibe. Now Monster High has put out a lot of dolls this month, but it makes sense because it is October and this is kind of their heavy hitting month because October and Halloween and monsters go hand in hand. But this doll is definitely one of the best from this month in my personal opinion. This and the Dracula that came out. By the way, I do have the Dracula and I will be doing a review on it soon. I just wanna have my doll room actually set up. But this one was just too exciting to not do a video on. Like I said, this doll is gonna be $50 and an Amazon exclusive. Honestly, this is one of my favorite Frankies now. And I can't wait to do like a whole Frankie display in this doll room because I definitely can see this doll being added to that. Like it's gonna be so great. <laughs> so let's start looking at Frankie. We'll start from the head and move all the way to the toes. That didn't really show anything, but whatever. So Frankie has the original sculpt. And one of the cool things about this Frankie is that they have a majority of black hair. The only blonde slash gray that this doll has is really these little tendrils that hang down and whatever is in these bangs. Other than that, it is complete black saran. And yes, this doll has a full head of saran hair. So a win right there. So Frankie's hairstyle is kind of a half up, half down style, but it's a bun on the top. Kind of to look like a sewing pin cushion, which I thought was really, really cool. And then there is these two blonde 
one pieces right in the front. And then they rooted the bangs into the front hairline rather than pulling it from the part line. Typically, I'm not a fan of this rooting style. When they did it on Holiday Jaguar, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But with this Frankie, I, I, I'll give it a pass. But yeah, I really like the hairstyle. I think it's really, really cute. From the feeling right here, there might be a middle part. I can't say an exact yes to that because I am not going to be taking this hairstyle down. But if you do decide to take it down, please comment it down below and let us know if it's a middle part or if it's a side part or no part. Now for Frankie's headpiece, it's a very big and intricate headpiece. It's not multiple pieces like I actually thought it was going to be. So to start it off, we have like this sewing pin crown. There is a total of seven little pins inside of it. And then there is a bunch of chains that kind of drape around it along with three skelet little hair clips on each side. I definitely want to try chroming up some of these accessories because you know me, I have an obsession with chroming up shit. It kind of cages into the hair and then there's some longer bits as well. We have some tools that you would see while sewing. And then there's one right here and it's just really cute and very intricate. As for the earrings, they are like little sewing needles that look like they have maybe a piece of thread attached. They do look quite delicate, so be very careful with those. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the earring and the headpiece down below. If we move on to Frankie's face, you can see it is the Honka Tour screening, but updated. And I think Annalise mentioned that on her story when she was going through all of the details about this doll. And I actually really like this face better than the Honka Tour face. I don't know, the Honka Tour face was kind of weird to me, but they've definitely upgraded Frankie's face since then. So I'm very happy that they did. So Frankie has their signature blue and green eyes, blue eyeshadow with gray at the top. They have a metallic gray lipstick on. As for the eyebrows, they actually look really, really nice. And it's kind of sad that they're being covered up by the bangs, but they're black and very arch, still thick. Mattel's in their thick eyebrow era. I'm gonna have to fix these bangs, but it, it's a whatever. <laughs> and honestly, I've always liked Frankie with bangs and I kind of really wish that they did more dolls with Frankie and bangs. Frankie still has their neck bolts and stitches. The bolts are just standard gray. They're not metallic like some releases have been in the past. But now if we move on to Frankie's physical outfit, you can see she's wearing this black leather bustier that has some white stitching on it. And it also has some mesh that goes around her neck and it also ties in the back. I know a lot of people are gonna really like this piece for restyles. I think it really pairs well with the skirt because the skirt has a lot going on. So if the top did too, I feel like it would just been too busy. Before we get to the skirt, I wanna show what's on Frankie's arm. It looks like it is barbed wired and it's like this, this giant arm chain thing, almost like a big old bracelet. And it does split down the middle so the doll can still pose. So it is two separate pieces. The only way to get these off is if you just take the arm and the hand off and they'll just slide off. For Frankie's big old skirt, we have a few prints that we've seen in the past before. So it's an asymmetrical kind of skirt and you can see it looks like just like a bunch of fabric put together and you know, in the construction phase of a garment. It's mainly the satin material that has Frankie's classic plaid print on it. And I think they said they mentioned that it's a newer updated plaid print along with an original G1 flare to it, which I think is really, really cool. And you can see there is little stitch marks through it that are silver and they're slightly shiny and it just ruffles up into three sections right here. Then there's a really big skirt accessory that goes around it. It is all plastic and it's sewn into place in certain areas just so it stays where it's supposed to on the doll, but you can snip that off if you want to take it off. And there is a little peg right there so you can take it off. So we have stitches here, some barbed wire there and some chain here. And they all meet in the middle of the little skelet. And you can just really see how detailed this is. And I really am so tempted to chrome this up because I think that's gonna look so sick. But you can see there's some safety pins right there. There's a little embroidery scissor down below and it just goes all the way around. See that there's a little black piece right here. So it's not gonna be exposing Frankie in any way. The skirt doesn't have any Velcro on it. It is all elastic. So they just will slide on and off. And as you can see from the back, there is a bunch of tools. We have this electric blue one right here and there's three layers of it. And then it seems like there's a black underneath it as well. And then even under the satin skirt, there's a darker blue right there where you can see like all of the construction of the garment right there. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people compare this doll's skirt to uh, the Sweet 1600 Frankie. And I definitely could see it because it's all bunched up just like that one. But I also see 13 Wishes in this and Ghoul's Rule. And now if we move to the shoes, they are also still in construction as you can see. And of course, Frankie is stepping on a pin of some sort, which is really, really cool. The main heel is silver. It is kind of more on the matte side, but a little bit shiny. And you can see it has all the straps and the stitches. In the original shoe sketch that Annalise on her story, there was supposed to be like a little mini ruler going around here. They cut it out sadly in production. And I think that would have been really, really cool. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on these shoes. I'm also debating on chroming these up too. If you guys cannot tell, I'm a chrome. But that is pretty much this Frankie. I'm gonna put her on her stand and I'm gonna go over my final thoughts with you guys. And yeah, so let's do that, shall we?
Okay guys, so I put Frankie on the Coochie Gripper stand and they actually stand really well on the stand because they have more of a platform to their shoes. So they're not really floating like typical Monster High dolls do when they have the stand. Also, don't mind the poor lighting. Like I said, I cannot get Frankie's face to look less shadowy right here. And I think it's because I'm like really on the floor and my lights can't get that low. So, you know, we're, we're just working with what we got. Sorry if this review has been a little weird. Like I said, it's not in my studio. This is my studio, but it's a new one. So like I'm still getting used to it and I have to pack it still. And that's why it's super echoey in here because there's barely anything in here but frankie's the first doll hi i really love this frankie and i'm not just saying that because i'm a frankie whore i think everyone in the monster high community can agree that this is probably one of the nicest frankies that's come out in a while especially considering that most people really did not like the midnight runway frankie that came out earlier this year especially because that doll was 75 dollars and like considering the price point of this doll and it's quite the same quality yeah i i agree <laughs> but this one's really nice and i'm really hoping that a lot of people will be able to get this doll because it seems like dracula's vampire heart doll keeps going in and out of stock so it's got a good sign for this frankie as well but then again i am really hoping that they're just going to keep stocking these dolls for amazon and not just make them limited edition because there's just a lot of people who want monster high dolls and especially g1 but i really like this frankie's face i can see a lot of people maybe even rerouting this frankie and just giving her a different hairstyle because the face card is there it's amazing the eyebrows are great as you guys saw earlier i really do like the hairstyle i like how all the details really coincide with each other really really well because again this is like a sketch doll like a construction like like the fashion construction kind of vibe. And I really think that's a really cool concept that we haven't seen really much on dolls before. But all in all, yeah, I, I think this is a really good Frankie. This doll is officially out Monday the 23rd at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. It's not an affiliate link. But anyways, I'll put that all down below. Guys, I wanna know your thoughts on this Frankie down in the comment section below. Do you like this Frankie? Do you hate this Frankie? Are you tired of Frankie dolls in general? Don't talk to me like that. Like, <laughs> very big fan of this Frankie doll. And I'm really excited to see how Monster High is going to go into 2024. So far, the collector dolls with Dracula and this Frankie are going in the great direction. But anyways, guys, if this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I would love you to join the channel and join the cornfield. That's what we call each other here. <laughs> if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at Zombies Corn as well. And guys, I will see you in the next video, which would hopefully be the start of this doll room kind of vlog series. I'll see you guys later. Bye.